Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a caregiver interview. So if you are applying to become a caregiver with any healthcare organisation or care home, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you be the standout candidate at your interview. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover during this tutorial. Number one, I will give you a list of caregiver interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. Now, these questions come up all the time during caregiver interviews, and it's really important that you prepare answers to them. Number two, I will then give you some really important tips, some essential tips for answering each of the questions correctly. And I will then give you a brilliant, unique, top-scoring example answer to each of the interview questions. And these answers really are unique. You cannot find them anywhere else. And then number four, I will tell you where you can download all of the answers and also further resources to help you pass your caregiver interview. So lots of reasons why you should stay tuned. And just very quickly, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button Come and join the CareerVids community. Literally thousands and thousands of you are passing your job interviews and I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please just give the video a like because that tells me you find these tutorials useful. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, let's get started with the first question and that is, tell me about yourself. Now, when answering this first caregiver interview question, I recommend you talk about the skills and qualities you have and how these are a match for the job description. I also recommend that you take the time to practice your answer because this will be the first interview question you must answer. And if you give a great response, it then sets you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. So here's a brilliant example answer to help you. Take notes. Here we go. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this caregiver position with your healthcare organisation today. I would describe myself as a respectful, observant, reliable and patient person who always provides first class care. Over the years, I have worked in various roles where the need to work closely with other people, follow strict rules and procedures and demonstrate understanding and empathy have been required. I'm very passionate about being a caregiver and my positive and cheery disposition make me very much suited to this work. Now, if you hire me, I will be available to work the hours needed, cover additional shifts to help when required and support my co-workers to ensure the best possible care is always afforded to your patients and clients. So that's a really great confident answer to that first caregiver interview question tell me about yourself. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and take note of the questions and answers as we work through them together or if you wait I will soon tell you where you can download instantly my full set of 24 caregiver interview questions and top scoring answers including the ones we are working through together today. Here is the second question for you. Why do you want to be a caregiver? Now, being a caregiver takes patience, understanding and empathy. It takes a unique set of skills and qualities and the interviewer will want to be sure you have genuine reasons for wanting to work in this position. My advice is to write down a list of the four things that attract you to the role of a caregiver and then talk about them in your answer. So here's my example response to help you. Why do you want to be a caregiver? Here we go. I feel I have a natural affinity to the role of a caregiver and because I have experience of caring for elderly relatives, I believe I have the necessary skills, qualities and empathy to excel in the position. I want to be a caregiver because it is a meaningful career. You get to quickly see the impact your work is having on your clients and the hours are far more attractive than a typical office-based nine-to-five job. I also want to be a caregiver because the work keeps you grounded, you get to appreciate the life you have, and you get to genuinely make a positive difference to someone's life. That is a brilliant answer, a great answer that's going to help you be the standout candidate at your caregiver interview. Now, don't go anywhere, 
because I still have more questions and answers to work through with you. But when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Head through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download instantly my full set of 24 caregiver interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. Here's the next question. What skills do you think a caregiver should have? So what skills do you think a caregiver should have? Now, this interview question comes up often during caregiver job interviews. My advice is to make sure you do read the job description carefully before you attend your interview. Because by studying the job description, it will help you to understand what the employer is looking for in the successful candidate. Here's a great example answer. What skills do you think a caregiver should have? Here we go. There are various skills a caregiver needs to be competent in the role. Empathy and understanding are the first two. You must see things from your client's perspective and provide care that is based on their individual needs. Excellent communication and listening skills are also pivotal to the role. You must ask the right questions to be able to create a care plan that is tailored to each client you are looking after. And you must demonstrate active listening skills to show them you are paying attention. Sometimes a client just wants someone to talk to and you must be genuinely interested in their day and how they are feeling. Other essential skills include flexibility and adaptability because without these you won't be able to meet the demands of the role. You need to show dignity and respect, have good attention to detail skills, be able to follow rules and procedures, be an excellent team worker and be prepared to deal with difficult challenges as and when they arise. That is a brilliant top scoring answer. And you can see how all of these responses are really going to help you pass your caregiver job interview. Here's the next question. How would you deal with a difficult client? Now, this is another question that comes up frequently during caregiver interviews. The best way to respond to it is to talk about the methodical approach you would follow to achieve the best outcome for the client. In your answer, focus on demonstrating exceptional communication and listening skills. Here's another great response to help you pass your interview. How would you deal with a difficult client? Here we go. I would deal with a difficult client by remaining calm, by following my training and the rules and procedures detailed by my employer, and by using good interpersonal skills and the relatable experiences I have gained to quickly resolve the issue. I would always be positive, demonstrate empathy towards the client to show them that I genuinely care and apologise for any negative experiences they may have had. Now, whilst dealing with the situation, I would use positive words and phrases, focus on what we wanted to achieve and work hard to build a strong relationship with the client moving forward. Now, with any difficult client, I would listen. I would not take anything they said personally. I would try to learn as much as I could about their situation and personality, and I would always be considerate, nice and caring. Now, finally, I would quickly come up with a solution to their needs or the problem, and keep them updated on progress if there was an ongoing issue. It's another great answer that shows you utilise a methodical approach for dealing with a difficult client. You don't take things personally and you are always using positive words and phrases and focusing on what you wanted to achieve for the client. Here's the next caregiver interview question that I recommend you prepare for. What are your strengths? Now, again, this question will likely come up during your caregiver job interview. There are several strengths the employer will be looking for, and I have detailed them in the following answer. What are your strengths? Here we go. My strengths include my compassion for others and my ability to translate the empathy I have into positive action for patients and clients. Other strengths include my positivity and optimistic outlook on life, which often rubs off on those around me, and my strong attention to detail, organisational and multitasking capabilities. I can handle the workload that comes with being a caregiver and I will always support the organisation I am employed by to deliver excellent patient and client care. That is another really great answer. Two, that difficult caregiver interview question, what are your strengths? Here's another one. This is another really tricky one. How would you deal with an emergency situation such as a patient fall? So this is a difficult caregiver interview question to answer and in your response... I recommend saying you will always follow your training and the procedures in place detailed by your employer whilst at the same time 
ensuring the safety and well-being of the client is at the center of your actions. Here's another great example answer to help you. How would you deal with an emergency situation such as a patient fall? Here we go. I would remain calm, follow my training and quickly assess the patient to determine their injuries. I would also request assistance from other caregivers and inform the management team immediately so they could contact the patient's family representative. I would ask the patient a series of questions to determine their injuries before calling the emergency services to request a paramedic or suitably qualified medic if required. I would pass on all information I had to the call handler before staying with the patient, stabilising them so as to not cause further injury or harm and await the arrival of the medic. Once the situation was over and the patient had been cared for, I would then consider what lessons could be learnt to prevent the same situation from happening again. I would also ensure a thorough report was created to pass on to the senior manager. So that's a really good answer for you to build on when responding to that common caregiver interview question. How would you deal with an emergency situation such as a patient fall? So whenever you deal with these kind of situations, make sure you follow your training. Make sure you focus on the safety of the client and also other patients and clients in the care home or healthcare organization. You've got to ensure everyone's safety is paramount. You follow your rules and procedures and you get them immediate professional medical attention straight away. So the next thing to do is make sure you click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Head through to my website passmyinterview.com and you can instantly download my full set of 24 caregiver interview questions and top scoring example answers including the ones we have just worked through together today during this tutorial. I also recommend going through to that website because on that page I have given you four more really important tips, brilliant tips, to help you be the standout candidate at your caregiver job interview. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you can see why so many of you are passing your job interviews. I want to help you not just pass every job interview you ever attend. I want to help you progress throughout your life and your career. I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please hit the like button because that tells me you find these tutorials and the example answers I create useful and it motivates me to create more for you. Thank you very much. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and it is always great and an honor to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your job interview. Have a great day.